Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. If there's two things I love, it is Mexican food and beef ribs. And today, we're going to do that. So, we are gonna make Chipotle tequila glazed, flackened cut beef ribs. Oh yeah, hell of a long title, but it's gonna be delicious. So the first thing we gotta do is make the glaze for this. What we need to do is get ourselves a container and to that container, add one tablespoon of tequila. Yum, 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 yum. One tablespoon of agave nectar. One tablespoon of tamarind paste, which it is the pulp from an Asian tree. That's what it's made out of. Um, smells a hell of a lot like molasses to me. And then about three and a half ounces of chipotles and adobo. These little cans that you find in your grocery store, they're about seven ounces, so half the can. Then you're gonna take your trusty immersion blender and blend this for about ah, two to three minutes. Oh, damn. A lot of sweetness with a little bit of fire. That is gonna be delicious on beef ribs. You know, thinking about it a little bit more, that would be delicious on chicken, it would be delicious on pork, and probably about six different species of hamster. What, what, what? Oh, damn, that stuff's good. So we got the glaze made. Now I have my beef ribs, flack and cut, laid out here on this uh, baking sheet. I am going to season them with salt and pepper. While that is happening in the Ninja Foodie over here, I am cooking some rice, because I like my flack and cut ribs with rice. And today, uh, normally we cook on our Yoder YS640 pellet grill, but uh, as quickly as these thin cuts of meat are gonna cook, that smoke is really going to uh, not have time to soak into these. So I have my gas grill heating up right now, and that's how we're gonna cook them. So we got the first side done, we'll get these flipped, wash our paws, um, get the other side seasoned, and then we'll head out to the grill and make this magic happen. So as you can see, short episode, very easy uh, recipe, but I think you're gonna be amazed by this. All right, we're out here at the gas grill. I have this side on high heat, this side with no heat, and that's by design. We're gonna get this opened up, get our grill grate sprayed here, and then we're gonna get our flack and cut beef ribs directly on the flame. We're gonna flip these every uh, 30 seconds or so. We're gonna do that for three to five minutes and get these pretty much done. Our goal is to not only get these done, but we want a little crispiness to it. Alrighty, so our ribs are pretty much done. Now what we're gonna do is move them over to the side that is off, and then we're gonna get them glazed. And we're gonna let them sit for about three to five minutes to let that glaze set up real well. On goes the Chipotle tequila glaze. All right, there we go. We'll let that side set up for about three minutes. All right, we've gone our three minutes now. Now we're gonna take that glaze side and flip it down into the heat, put these back on the hot side, we'll glaze the back side of them. All right, now we're gonna let them go three minutes on that side. Now we're gonna flip them one last time, let them go for three minutes, and it's time to eat. All righty, the ribs are done. I told you they're gonna be fantastic, so I'm not impartial, but the director is, so she's gonna give this a try. What say you, director? Very good. There you go. The truth, as all women tell you. Hey, if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and never miss an episode. Hit the bell and get reminders. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. And until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas.